So I made a game where you can slice things up. You want to cut down a tree? Go ahead. One swing of the sword and gone. It's cut in two. You want to cut down a rock? Done. So I wanted to make this when I kind of saw these games in mobile where you can cut down vegetables and fruits and all kinds of stuff. And it kind of just baffled me. I had no idea on how 3D models are even supposed to do that because it's a whole model and we are cutting down that in two and just making a new thing out of it. I just have no idea on how this is even possible. So I have not worked with messes till now. I don't have much of an idea on how they're made and stuff. So I did some research and this is what I found out. All right, a very simple thing I have in mind right now is that messes are hollow in between. It's like a room with walls. There's nothing in between. So if we cut it, we just see nothing. It's not solid. All right, let's talk a little about messes and how they work now. This is what I found out after a kind of reading a little about them. So messes, basically 3D models, we can kind of exchange the terms, no problem. There, there is no problem in exchanging the terms, I think. Let me know if I'm wrong. So messes are made of triangles. Boom, right? It just blows your mind. Some of you might. I mean, most of you probably know about it, but messes are made of triangles. All the 3D models are basically made of tiny triangles. For example, I have this very nice looking cube, which is very smooth by the way. It is super smooth, but this one is also made of triangles. Like we can put one triangle in this top side and then we can add it with another triangle and these two triangles combine and make one face of the triangle. And just like this, we will have more triangles and with a lot of triangles adding up, we will have a cube. And now let's talk about what I found out about cutting the thing. So we are going to take a sword, for example, and pass it through a cube, which we are going to cut. So it passes through the cube and we are going to kind of store the location of where it entered and where it exited. So we will have a start point and an end point, both of which we have stored the position of. So with these positions that we have now, we are going to make two new 3D models starting from these points. It might not seem very complicated and very easy when I'm talking about a cube, but it is similar for other objects too, like this cat over here. It is also made of a lot of triangles. This is a low poly model, which means there are lesser triangles, making the triangles more visible. But even in a very highly detailed object, it is still triangles. It is still triangles, we just can't see it. So I was kind of writing the code on my own to slice the objects, which was really, really hard. But I found this thing called Easy Slice and it just makes things a lot easier. I'm just going to use this. So this is what it looks like right now. I can kind of take this sword, let's call it a sword. I can take this sword through a object and it can cut it. Well, it might not look that good cause the thing just stays on the same place. I don't know why they just don't fall apart, but we will deal with that later. But it still looks good though. It kind of does the cutting really well. So I just made this animation for you to look at. It kind of looks a little bad cause this is not falling apart at all. It just stays together. I don't know why. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. This is cutting, all right? The thing has been cut. It is just not falling apart. I don't know why. I even applied force to it. Like I'm making the thing jump around, but still like glued together for some reason. All right, attempt three. We are trying out a different shape. Hopefully this will turn out well. No, not falling down yet. Uh, no, this is also not going to turn out well. Nope, nope, nope. They're not going to fall down, is it? But here's something which finally worked out. I kind of put one cube on top of another, so I think because of the mass adding up, they kind of fell apart. And here is a good animation for you. Just look at that. That is smooth. That is super nice. It just cuts through things so nicely. All right, so we are making a player. And I'm not very sure on what to do with it. Is it going to be first person or is it going to be third person? I kind of think third person might be better cause I don't have any experience on making it and I want to kind of try it out. 
So I think we are going to go third person. So yeah, this is not working out. I just kind of put my first person controller in the third person and the camera is not working well. This is just not working good at all. And there I go, just the leap of faith. Uh, yes, that's that. So finally, I kind of added cinema scene to it and the character, as you can see, has turned into a fish. I'm not sure what's going on with the rotation. I have tried fixing it and this is just not happening. But it is fun though, it is fun to play around. I've spent a long, long time just doing this, alright? Just, uh, yeah, I'm just... So the rotation is finally working better now. It is working super fine actually. And just to celebrate this, I'm doing a spinny spinny dance. Yes. Spinny 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 spinny. That, that, that is weird. So all the thing about character controller is kind of working very nicely now. So I got some animations from MaxiMO. All right, there are some problems. We are experiencing some jerking. I'm not very sure why this is happening. Everything's kind of shaking when we rotate. I kind of looked around to see what this is about but I have not found any clues. Alright so we have a sword now but the problem with the sword is that <laughs> the, the movement that when I run it just stabs me in the head. This took some time. This took me a lot of animation downloading to kind of figure out which one is going to work out well with the sword but there's still some problem with the sword rotation so we will probably be able to fix it quick. Alright everything is good. We are cutting down things, we have everything working pretty well now. There was a lot of problem with slicing alright. The things were working very well at first because we did not have any kind of weird rotation in the sword. But now when we are animating the player and the sword also kind of goes with the hand so it kind of rotates a different way. So whenever I kind of was cutting something it was not working out. It took a lot and lot of configurations to just fix it to cut things. Ah, it, it is finally done though. It is finally done. I'm just happy. I'm just super happy right now. Alright, time to add a flair to the game. We need something which looks good. Look at this trail render. I just thought of giving it a swipe effect, a sword trail effect, but it just looks so good. I can't add this to the game because this is just too much, but it looks so good. Just look at the swings. Ah, oh, that's, that's nice. That's super nice. So we have a very nice and simple sword trail going on. It looks a little black and red. It is super nice. I like it. Let's talk about another problem. There's a lot of problems. So at first I was kind of planning on making it so that we can kill the enemies and kind of slice them. That would have been so cool. But then I came to realize that we can't do that with animating objects. Cause you know the actual 3D model of the enemy is in T pose. It can't be in the pose it is animating at. So when I cut it, it will just spawn at a T pose. Even when it is animating, I'm not very sure that the sword will kind of recognize the model cause it is animating and moving in a weird way. So I had to kind of drop that and kind of get back into making it a sandboxy game. Right now, I don't think I would call it a game. Well, it's just basically scenes where you can just go around and cut things up and it is fun. So, well, why not do it, right? Just go around and slice things up. That is super awesome thing to do, but I still kind of made some levels to kind of have some fun with it. So you can just go around, run and kind of just have some fun while cutting down things, you know? <laughs> And then I had to kind of make more levels cause it's not just fun to cut one thing you know. It is so much fun to cut trees down and stones. Cutting stone is so much more fun. Just believe me, cutting down a big stone, slicing it up with just one swing is so awesome. And then I kind of also had to add a main menu cause we need to kind of go around and just switch between the levels. So yeah, there's a main menu too. And so with this, the game is done. I know, I know it is not a game, but I enjoyed making the slicing thing and that's all I wanted to do. So if you want to play it, then I'm not very sure I'll put it online, but if I do, then you will find a link in the description. 
And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me making this game. And if you did, then consider smashing the like button and smashing subscribe. And also share the video probably. And that is it. Bye-bye.